and this is episode number 10. All right, let's take a quick look at our statistics for last week. All right, very good week. You can see here that the um, All right, now let's take a look at the stats. Good week, another good improvement. You can see here, let's get a little closer. Total of 457 subscribers now with the views at one uh, 13,200 in the last 28 days and watch time hours of 149.6. Let's see now where that fits in. Here's our chart. And you can see here that last week we were at 451. And we've now gone up six subscribers. We were uh, at 1474 for the rolling 365 and it's continuing its trend down. Tremendous uh, improvement here, though, in uh, watch time views jumped up to 13,200 and increased in hours here by 3.2, ending at 153.4. So overall, continuing to grow, continuing to move forward. Now, I did a little bit of um, detail work here to give you my... Um, Okay, now let's talk about the editing tip. And the editing tip is going to actually not have anything to do with editing, but it has to do with file storage and moving files around. And I found that this is a point of contention that needs to be dealt with and understood pretty thoroughly for your machine, whatever that is. So for mine, I have learned that, and let me pull a screen over here. Here is an example. I am inside of my Made in Papa's wood shop, and I'm in the Eagle folder. And I wanted to show you here if I sort things by size, and I get the largest one moving down, and then I come over here to status. See this little cloud? This says available when online. That means it's not gobbling up memory on my computer. So I keep going down. These are all little clouds, 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 clouds. Now, take a look at this one here. This one has a check mark. And what that means is, and let me, let me zoom in on it here a little bit and get a better picture. This little check mark right here tells me that this file is stored on my computer. And that's fine if I need to be working with it and getting in and out of it a lot. But once I'm through with it, I need to force it up into the cloud. Now, the way to do that on my machine is I hover over top of the little check mark and then I right mouse, come on, right mouse, there we go. And it gives me some options here. 
I can either always keep on this device or I can free up space. And in this case, what I'm trying to do, every time I'm through with a folder, I click on free up space and you can see right there it turned from a check mark into a cloud. So this is kind of a big deal when you're working with videos and you have these huge files. So uh, what I try to do, uh, especially since I'm, I'm down to my last few gig here on my laptop, is uh, to finish up with the video whenever I'm through making it, then go back to that file and then throw all of those up into the cloud so it frees up space in my computer. Hope that helps. That's what works for me. And eventually I will have to um, find some other solution. I have a couple of external hard drives. They're a terabyte a piece and I have a number of different cloud storage options. Um, so I'm just going to have to make some decisions about how to get some of this stuff off of my laptop so I don't continue to kill my processing power. Now on to the YouTube tip for today. Sometimes when you're working in your channel, um, you just need to do some projections and see if what you're doing is going to get you where you want to go. And so I've done a little math here for you. I started out um, and showed my my number of subs here. And you can see I took 406 and the growth to 412 and figured out right here what the growth is. And in percentage, this is 1.5. And if you like this kind of thing, I'll just show you the formula here. I just took the um, two numbers, subtracted them, and divided by the smaller. Subtracted the 406 from 412, and then divided it by 406, and that gave me the percent growth. Then I worked my way all the way down and took these nine weeks and figured out what the eight growth percentages were over that nine week period and then I ran an average. So down here at the bottom of the screen you can see this is the average growth so it's 1.5 percent is what my subs will average in growth over uh, one week to the next. So I'm looking and saying, all right, how long is it going to take me to get to 500? Because 500 is the next step in the monetization process. So let's scroll down here a little bit and I'll show you how I plug these numbers in. So I took this average growth here of one and a half percent and took it times the, uh, the last number of subscribers. And here, let me show you the formula. Uh, again, in case you like this kind of stuff, I took, uh, so C24, which is uh, the last number of subscribers, which is the one we're talking about today in episode number 9, 457. And then I multiplied that times um, the sum of 1 and the average percent here. Now the reason for putting the one in there is because in order to multiply something by a percent and get a gain, you have to take it times one point, whatever that is, in order for it to increase. So I put that in here and just kept kept it running, running total until it crossed over 500. So if I continue at the current rate of growth for subscribers, at the end of week 16, I will be past 500 subscribers and it will meet that criteria. Now, I messed around a whole bunch of different ways trying to do some sort of projection here for my hours. And because um, it, it's a little squirrely, these are 28 day rolling numbers, but I put a new one on each week. And the number of uh, groups of these that it takes to reach 365 rolling days is 13 because there are 13 28-day periods in a 365-day rolling total. So the math got really complicated and I, 
I kept getting it wrong, so I will get back with you on that for what the projection is for how that works, because I also have to calculate in this declining business right here. At some point, this is going to stop going down, and it's going to turn and start going up. Once that actually occurs, the math will be a lot easier to do, but um, my best guess is that it's going to take maybe another, maybe almost the rest of the year, 52 weeks, in order to get this to where it brings this to 365 uh, rolling day total of 3,000. So, and again, to be monetized, we got this right here has to be at 3,000 hours, which means that the rolling 28 day has to be um, large enough that when multiplied by 13, it's more than 3,000 hours. So, um, not anywhere close on that, but the good news is that the projections, if I keep doing what I'm doing, in 16 weeks, I will have enough subscribers to reach that first criteria. And I'll figure the rest of this math out because uh, at this point, I need to decide. Do I need to change my strategy because it is taking a long time? Or do I just keep doing what I'm doing? So I hope that helps you. Uh, there'll be a link in the corner to uh, this playlist and you can see the rest of these, the things that I've learned every week I share what my stats are, I share the um, the editing tip and the YouTube business tip. Have a great week. See you next time.